Hello and welcome to the result sharing video of uh, SAM2 Lab 2 Question 2. Okay, this is the one with the curvy track. Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you on camera placing the ruler at strategic places for you to determine the value of x and y. Alright, so for the value of x, I'll place the ruler on the base of the retort stand. That'll be the first one. I'll place the ruler. I'll take a shot of the ruler here. You take that reading. I'll take another shot of the ruler here. You take that second reading. And you know what to do to find x, right? I'm sure you know what to do. Okay. With y, what I'll do is I'll place the meter ruler drawn in purple here on top, resting on the clamps. At the back, I will place the plastic rule. So you can roughly judge for yourself where the uh, lowest position is. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what to do. If you have not watched the video about introduction, go and watch that one. Make sure you have a brief idea, uh, understanding that if you are in the lab, you can do this on your own. Okay. I'm just your eyes and ears and hands, I guess. All right. So that will be the first part, measuring well, X, measuring Y. Now let's go to the jump cut. Okay, what you see right now is the position ruler. This is the first retort stand on the left. Okay, uh, you should be able to take this initial reading, whatever you think it is. So we're going to measure from this silver stand of the one on the left to the silver stand to the one on the right. Okay, so pause the video and take this initial reading. Okay, or if you think I place it at zero, then you put zero. Lah. All right, so now I'm going to uh, jump cut jump cut into the position of the meter rule for the second retort stand on the right. All right, this is the position of the second meter, the, sorry, the other end of the meter rule at the second retort stand. Okay, so you will take this reading. You can pause the video and read this reading first. And based on that two readings, I'm sure you know what to do to determine a value for x. This is the first set of reading. And now on to the reading for y. Okay, what you what you see now is the curve track. This is the curve track in dark brown. In light brown, beige color is the meter rule. Okay, so I'm now going to place the 30 cm rule behind and uh, my camera is handheld so that I can bring it close, but it will be a bit shaky. Lah. Okay, so I'm just going to guesstimate or try to estimate the best position. Please be aware that there are many uncertainties in the measurement of Y. Pause the video and take the reading for Y now. Pause the video, take the reading for Y. This is the first value of Y. And now we will jump cut and begin to take the reading of T, which is the oscillation of the metal sphere. Okay, so now you can see the curve track at a slightly uh, angle that's at the back. Okay, and this is my ball. Okay? So I'm now going to release the ball and you ready your timer and measure several periods of oscillation. So according to the lab manual, we should be measuring several periods of oscillation. So I'm going to let go and I will make it very obvious where I've let go. My hand will open up. Okay. Okay, so this is the first reading. I'm going to repeat again for the second reading. Please be aware that when you time oscillation, you should time several cycles. Okay, as uh, the more it is, the less your uncertainty lah for timing. Okay, so I'm going to release the ball. Okay. 
So feel free to rewind if you need to rewatch it. You don't have to start your timing when I let go of the ball. You can let it oscillate one cycle, then only start timing. Okay, so you can waste that one cycle. So this is reading number two. Previously was reading number one. Okay, I think we're good to go. Now what I will do is I will bring this second retort stand here towards this side by 5 cm. Okay, this side by 5 cm. Okay, you know the drill. I have brought the retort stand closer to each other by roughly 5 cm. So this is the first reading on the retort stand on the left for the second value of x. Pause the video to take the reading. And now we will move on to the second retort stand, which is the retort stand on the right. Jump cut now. Okay, this is the second retort stand. And we have our second reading now. I believe it is in focus. So take the reading. Pause the video if you must. And now we will go and measure y. Okay, so once again, the horizontal looking thing up here, this is the meter rule. And I will just roughly estimate the position of the lowest point on the track. Well, something has to be compromised. So we just, we'll just try our best, okay? Virtual lab bonus. Pause the video to take the reading of this second value of y. So I'm moving the camera closer if you need it. Pause the video to take the second reading of y. All right, so now we're going to jump cut into the oscillation portion. Okay, so we're here again. My metal ball, my dude is here. I'm going to still allow it to oscillate. Okay, so whenever you're ready, you can start your timer. This is reading one. Okay, I will release it again for reading number two. So I'm going to let go now. This is for the second period, which is the second set of readings. Take out your stopwatch and measure. Don't forget, you can always replay the video. Okay, so I think that's all the reading that we need. Uh, be careful of your significant figures, your SF, your decimal points and your units so that something as simple as this will not lose you marks, okay? And that's all. I hope you are staying safe at home. Do take care. Catch up on work. All right. And I will see you in the next video or wherever it is that I see you. All the best. Take care now. Bye.